This is Grandmaster Ronan Hartsby, Indiana Dash Jones on ICC, presenting you Best Blunders of 2009. For Nakamura, the top American player, the London tournament was basically his absolute first super tournament that he played, playing against Carlsen, Kramnik, absolutely super tournament. The tournament didn't start well for him, missing a win. In the first round against Ni Hua, maybe this affected his entire tournament as he ended up with six draws and quite surprising loss with the white pieces to McShane. Out of the opening in this game, Nakamura was somewhat worse, but he fought quite well and in time trouble managed to get about equal position. This is move 43 of this game, and clearly white is in danger here, but it looks that after... take on B4, take on B4, and rook B5, it will be very difficult for black king to break free, and on the other hand, for black to be able to push B3. For example, if bishop is 7, white is just chasing this bishop. It looks like white has excellent chances to draw this one, although very deep analysis is needed here. Several moves before, it looked like it was even simpler for white. But maybe, as I mentioned, Nakamura didn't win even one game until this moment. Really feeling he must win, played rook d7. Absolutely not clear what he had missed, because now he cannot stop b3 by black. Game over. Absolutely game over. The game followed take on c2, b3. And this is just a matter of, well, still some precise play, but McShane was right, playing perfectly here. The threat is c2 and bishop f4, bringing his king. Absolutely perfect play, c4. The idea is now the bishop has possibility to go to a3, and the computer's already saying this is mate in several moves here. So, rook d7, absolutely an unexplained move. Blunder, allowing Black immediately to carry his plan. So for Nakamura, who started the tournament not winning quite a simple one position against Ni Hua, this was basically not a nice way uh, almost to end the tournament with such a serious blunder, Rook D7, giving him his only loss in the tournament with no wins. You can find more of the best blunders of 2009 at the Chess FM blog at www.chess.fm slash blog.